I'll give you two examples. So what we see in the data, and this is everything from SCORE to SBA um, insights, what we see is that often women are asking for less money. So although right now the percentages of loans that get approved have significantly leveled out, which is wonderful, um, what we do find is that for a business, women are more likely to ask for less money. And the long-term impact of that is that then they end up self-funding through credit cards or personal assets instead of being able to leverage um, other means of capital to be able to reinvest in their business, therefore to grow, hire employees, you know, be able to, um, to um, build the capabilities of their business out. So we see that as a challenge. The other part is that you still have the, um, I'll call it the other challenges. So women business owners have to face all the same challenges that other businesses, but then they also have to deal with less of an access to a network, less people perhaps that have walked that same path and they can ask in a trusted way to say, how do I handle this? And, and really getting that mentorship and advice. Um, and then also they're balancing their families. They're, they're often moms and they might be the sandwich generation where they're taking care of an aging parent and children at the same time um, while they're navigating leading a business. So these are the unique challenges and all of that together means um, they may make decisions that um, that in the long run impact the performance of their business. And that's where we want to have conversations to change that.